I recently broke the story of Rutgers University professor James Livingston, who complained about what he called little Caucasian assholes, annoying him at a restaurant, and said he now hates white people. Since then, the restaurant owners have given him a little piece of their minds, and the professor, well, he's only doubled down. Let's take a look. It's been about a week since Rutgers history professor James Livingston announced his resignation from the white race, which I accepted. Except, well, it was more of a dishonorable discharge if you consider his remark that he now hates white people, advocated for apartheid, and called rambunctious children at a restaurant shithead and moron, blaming their behavior not on their age, but instead on their race. Now, James or Facebook deleted that post, and the professor told me he got banned for a day. He agreed to talk to me, but then chickened out. Rutgers released a statement saying it has no room for racial intolerance, and told me it's investigating whether the dude's comments violated the school's discrimination and harassment policies. But the owners of the restaurant where James went also had something to say. We ask that our name is removed from your rant, because we do not want to have anything to do with you," said Harlem Shake owners Jelena Pasek and Dardra Coxum. And yeah, we ask that you get your burgers somewhere else. We do not tolerate racism either. We thrive on equality and fairness, and have full intentions to keep it that way. Professor Livingston seems to have a slightly different definition of racism, though. He wrote a column Wednesday titled Confessions of a Race Traitor, and after suggesting he might have been joking and complaining about some hate mail including threats, which of course are unacceptable, he said, I'd be worried, and maybe even penitent, if I thought that reverse racism, blah blah blah, was in the realm of reality, where we could measure its results. But there's no such thing. Do you have unseen and unspoken power over others merely because you were born a white boy and they weren't? Ask yourself and be honest about it. Okay, it's a rhetorical question with a built-in answer. Of course you do. No, I'm sorry, but I'm not going to let you redefine racism as some privilege plus power bogus so that suddenly only your ideological opponents happen to be racist. It's the same thing with a legal alien, which became undocumented immigrant, and now apparently undocumented citizen. Don't let these malicious loons manipulate language and use it as a political weapon. But if you happen to send Livingston hate mail, you apparently might as well be a KKK member. The professor said, You want to think you never benefited from the color of your skin. What a joke. On you. You're ridiculous. You ought to be wearing white robes and burning crosses on your field of dreams, except that you send your hate mail via Apple Watches. Is this how much discourse has degenerated in the West? Either you agree with me or you're an alt-right KKK Nazi? You would think professors would be above this. If you hadn't been watching this show, that is. For Campus Unmasked, I'm Rob Shimshock. If you like this video and support our mission, please make sure to comment and subscribe. If something happens on your campus and you'd like us to investigate, send us details using the form on campusunmasked.com.